All right, guys. Welcome to Have a Drink and Paint. I have my drink. It's a little Baja Blast with some uh, other stuff in it. Might do some mixing videos later at some point. You guys can see exactly what I'm drinking, but I kind of got a uh, Venom Ghost Rider here, and we're going to be painting that with the airbrush. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to cover a topic that I haven't really covered before. I've been kind of avoiding these kinds of topics because I haven't been a member of the YouTube community for too long but uh, I've gotten quite a few requests to do these kind of videos so here we are if I can find the paint I'm looking for Okay, so I think we got mostly the right paint. First thing I'll address is we're getting an upgrade. Um, trying to make a studio for our content. And uh, yeah, we're going to be done with this stupid backdrop soon. So, there's that. Yay, upgrade. Also, next week, I will probably be changing up my content. And I think we're going to do a unboxing video from a shitty foreign website. But, in the meantime, today, we're going to be addressing some content from some creators that are trash, just trash creators, pretty much. talking about is Jack Doherty. Just because he is currently being sued because his security guard punched somebody. He's just a shitty creator. And I haven't been part of the YouTube community for long. So, I've been trying to kind of keep my mouth shut about stuff like this. But, this kid is just a shit poster. giant pussy. And I mean gaping fucking pussy. He goes around starting shit with people in order for content and then has a security guard try to deal with the shit that he started. Like I said, dude is just trash. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's 
no hiding it. There's no getting around it. Dude is probably one of the biggest pussies on the internet. Trying to get some of this airbrush done, and then I'll come back with some uh, hand painting to finish up the highlights and all that stuff. But, uh, anyways, back to Jack. He started as a child, and his parents did not help him any. And it's really kind of sad when you think about it. But he's just one of those guys that will go make a mess at Walmart and then the Walmart employee has to clean up after his content that he made money off of. Wow, the Walmart employees getting paid minimum wage to clean up your shit. <clears throat> so that's the kind of people we're talking about tonight. Obviously. We're not expecting a whole lot. Um, somebody like this, but as a parent and your child is doing shit like this, you should be trying to discourage it and instead it seemed like his parents encouraged it. Going as far as to is a literal child taking him to Faye's clan house and just a bunch of other people have made videos about this guy so I'm not going to talk about him too much but I just wanted to touch on the fact and the fact that his security guards are trash as well that'd be some bitches I'm just saying there's one video where Jack is starting crap at a mall and an elderly mall security guard is trying to talk to him and he keeps sticking his mic in his face so the security guard grabs it and one of these trash ass security guards runs up from behind him and takes it away from him and starts getting in his face. Dude, you are like 26, 27, and you're twice the size of this elderly security guard in his face yelling at him because of this little punk ass white boy that cannot throw hands or anything else. I would assume he couldn't even throw a goddamn ball. But, anyways, that's the kind of people he surrounds himself with, so of course. At the moment, he is, I believe, getting sued, or at least his security guard is, because of punching, punching a gentleman while he was talking smack, yes, but rightfully so. And that's the other thing about these guys. They go up and start the shit. And then they don't want to deal with it and they claim the victim after this shit has started. You started this shit. There is... One of my favorite stories is... Tanner Cook, which took a bullet to the belly. 
because he went out and started shit with the random guy in the mall. And he effed around and found out. That's what's eventually going to happen to this kid. Like, I don't necessarily wish him ill will. I do wish him an ass beating, which I believe would be well deserved at this point. But, I don't want the kid to be like crippled or killed or anything like that. But the kid definitely deserves a good smack it around for sure. But, yeah, it just kind of irritates me that these guys keep getting away with crap like this for content. And I mean, yes, yeah, some of them have gotten what they deserve. Some of them have been imprisoned, which honestly didn't help with their attitude any. Like, as long as they're getting clicks and likes, they're going to keep doing this, so it just kind of sucks for society that we have to deal with people like this. And, uh, just so you know, you catch me out in public and doing some dumb shit like this, you might get Injured. And especially when you try to run up with a security guard, like you're going to get yourself and other people injured badly. Like, maybe just have the slightest bit of respect. Because, I mean, you're going to push, 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 and then pow, pow. Just saying. Oh. I mean, the sad part is this kid started with, like, unboxing videos. And just doing the best he could to get views. And so... Half of his issues is just everybody keeps liking this dumbass content. And it just, it blows my mind. TikToks around, these kids are going to keep liking the videos, and uh, we're probably just going to keep this cycle going. There's a lot of other ones I wanted to talk about, but... Like I said, I haven't been part of the YouTube community for long, so I've been kind of keeping my nose out of it, but Sniper Wolf, that's a, that's a Sniper Wolf, trash, just full on trash, like your content is trash, you're trash, the only reason you're online and have any views at all is because you're pretty. If I was pretty, I would be making all kinds of content. Speaking of which, that's another thing Jack does is OF content. Dude, looks like he's 10 still. Anyways. There's also been few vids shared around of 
been Benny Hanna and his daughter where they've been kind of going back and forth on what's true, what's not. Dude's a 66 year old break dancing dad that supposedly wasn't around for his kids even though he supposedly paid the mom five mil. I'm just saying I am broke as shit but if I paid my ex five mil and then my kid called me about medical bills I'd be like yeah talk to your mom. But that's just me. So I'm 50-50 on that. Kind of staying out of it. It is an interesting watch. There is like four videos <laughs> plus everybody else's videos including this one that's being made about it. So anyways just kind of wanted to whip here a little bit while I <clears throat> got the dark stuff done. I'm going to add some more flames and get my Venom Ghost Rider on point and probably going to do a giveaway for this one. So if anybody wants a Ghost Rider Venom, make sure to like, subscribe, go down to the comment section, click on it, and post done and you will be entered into a drawing for this finished picture which I will be posting on Facebook and Instagram once it's done got a lot of work left to do on it I just wanted to share a little bit of the time with you guys and uh, I enjoyed my drink I hope you enjoyed yours and we will see you hopefully next weekend with an unboxing video. And we can make fun of a bunch of foreign stuff together. Can't wait. Anyways, appreciate you guys. Stick around. We'll see you soon. Get rid of this backdrop soon. And uh, we'll have a much cooler vibe. Anyways, thanks guys.